<coughs> Dr. Huggins, assuming after watching this program one is convinced that mercury fillings are the major cause of one's problems, what are the steps that you would advise? Step number one is to become educated. You must educate yourself for there are very few people in the dental and medical professions who are really uh, aware of what the problems are in mercury toxicity. So if a person has the problem himself, unfortunately he has to become the leader of his own treatment. So you must read books that are available on what mercury toxicity is, what the uh, treatment schedules are, and see how much of that you want for yourself. For instance, we have a little booklet called the PAR booklet, P-A-R stands for Proper Amalgam Removal. And within this book, it tells all of the things that we would do with the critical patients. Now, you may not be critical. You may not have all of these problems. So there are only certain things that would need to be done. But, of course, the important thing is to put a compatible material in. And this is determined by a blood test to determine what is the material that you are safest with. Because if you put in a material that your immune system does not like, you have jumped from the frying pan into the fire, as it says in the title of that book, and you have not gained anything, and you may have lost, because then the whole procedure has to be done over again. There is electrical current in the teeth, and if it is measured with an ammeter, you find that the fillings that have the highest negative charge are removed first, the patient's chemistry improves and their symptoms improve. If you leave high negative charge fillings in the mouth and take out some that are positive charge first, then the patient's chemistries usually get worse and their conditions get worse. This is the positive and negative like you have on a little battery that you pick up at the pharmacy, that you use in flashlights, that you use in tape recorders. Uh, they have a positive and a negative pull. The fillings are little tiny batteries and they have a positive and negative orientation. So when the fillings have a negative reading, those are the ones that should come out first, or that quadrant that contains the highest negative should come out first. Nutrition is extremely important, and this is determined by looking at blood chemistries. If a blood chemistry indicates that you need more protein or less protein, then this will affect healing. In particular, if a person's protein level is low and he has root canal teeth or some other tooth removed or a cavitation cleaned out, <coughs> then healing is going to be slow and painful. So to counteract that, you need to have adequate protein, but not too much. You need to have adequate fats in the diet. And this is something that is usually um, presented as being something bad, and yet you do not absorb the good portions, the body building portions of your food unless there are fats present in the diet. So the amount of carbohydrate, protein, and fat is determined from blood chemistries. So your doctor can learn these, you can learn these, how to evaluate them, and then select. Do you want sequential removal where the fillings are taken out in the proper order? The patient protection is very important. The rubber dam is a little sheet of rubber fits over the teeth so that the mercury that is cut out hits the rubber and goes down the vacuum instead of down your throat into your body. There are other things for patient protection. The operatory itself, does it have air filters in it that trap the mercury or do your lungs do the cleaning up of the mercury? whole series of things, perhaps as many as 15 or 20 things need to be considered. So get yourself educated because generally speaking and having the fillings removed you have but one chance. It uh, is like bowling. You have one chance to get a strike in which all the pins are knocked down. So it is best to become educated and do things right the first time. It is not well to just rush right out and have the amalgam removed and any plastic material placed because over half of the plastic materials, the plastic filling materials, will react in your body too. So it is a complex system, and the best thing to do is for you to become educated before you go in and do something that later on you'll wish you hadn't. Thank you very much, Dr.